Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome to the Crystal Palace Career Mode series. I am so sorry I've not uploaded in quite some time, mainly due to I recently got this like really bad pain in my jaw, and I'm still trying to sort it out, but it's been really hard to talk. But of course, as you can tell, I'm feeling a lot better since I'm recording today. Here's our schedule for this episode. So first, we're going to be simming a game against Besiktas, playing this game against United, simming this game against Fulham, simming this game against Bournemouth, simming this game against Besiktas, simming this game against Leicester, and pretty much doing the whole entire rest of uh, October into November. And then uh, we're going to stop here at the Athletic Club game. And that'll be safe for next episode. And the next episode will just be the Athletic Club game all the way up to basically this Burnley game. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Make sure to leave a like or a comment. And, you know, comment if you want me to do uh, anything in this career mode specific. You got any recommendations you think I should try out this career mode? Go ahead and leave that comment below. And I'll see you guys in the first game. Here we have our first game against Besiktas. Let's see if I know anybody. Uh, I think I know Marilo Vita... Az Jakob. Az Jakob used to be a beast. An absolute beast back in the day. I'm not going to lie with you guys. He used to be an absolute beast. Um, Like FIFA 15, FIFA 16. If you wanted to get like a nice cheap midfielder that would start off a decent rating. Az Jakob was the man. But we're going to see what the score is going to be here. I think we're going to win this game. And it's actually going to be a 1-1 draw. Denny almost scoring. Hello from a stadium with a reputation for producing one of the liveliest atmospheres in the English game. We're in South London at Selhurst Park. I'm Derek Ray and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Crystal Palace up against Manchester United. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. This is the team Crystal Palace has. Here's picked. our lineup, lads. Be slow. Lamptey, Pal Torres, Jordi and Timber, Omar de Chard, Connor Gallagher, Danny Alma, and Florian Newhalls, Ishmael Asar, Adson Adouard, and Zaha. And on the bench, Papi Gay, David Brooks, Oliver Skip, Marco Alonso, Slaughterbeck, Bashuai, and Contreras. Hopefully we can get Alfonso to hop on the lineup today and uh, have a little fun game because, you know, he's our he's our little Spanish youngster. We love him. For Manchester United. We'll see if Manchester United's going to put up a good lineup. Ricardo Pereira plays alongside Luke Shaw as fullbacks. And the centerpiece of Scott the attack e. today is Gabriel Jesus. Dean Hendo. Ronaldo on the bench. Cavani on the bench. Thank you, sir. There's our main man. Difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a stroll. Oh, they're in here, Derek. Let's go, Zaha! Let's go. Zaha knocking one in for us. Let's go, lads. Oh, all the boys celebrating. Happy the fans are. Well, here it is again, and it's I've definitely made a tie to change at this club. I think this is a nutmeg. Oh, damn. Jeff. A glorious chance. Great reflex action. Well, that Let's go, be slow. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. And short it is. Encouraging stuff from United. This could level it. And it is the... Uh, I just did not know how to defend that. That was atrocious. Gabriel Jesus, our former player, for like two games. Oh, what a fucking horrendous touch, Danny Elmo. Fruitful looking attack. He read the situation defend. 
And Zaha has it. There's a slide draw pass. Sensation. What a dude. De Gea always has like a 10 out of 10 game against us. Alright, we're gonna make some substitutions. We're gonna bring on uh Conan Tarares, David Brooks, and Papa Gay. Scott McTominay, Manchester United. He's driven in the corner. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. That he shot was abysmal. Let's go! <laughs> oh, that's such a that's such a fucking Benteke kind of goal from Edward. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, uh, like Benteke and Lukaku used to score a lot of goals from just chasing down defenders when the goalkeepers would give them to it, and the defenders, right when they were turning, didn't know uh, didn't know anything. So, let's go! <laughs> oh, that's so funny. going to be United's free kick. Late drama here. Level once more. Incredible scenes. There's just no way. Well, as you can see, he gets there first. He makes good contact with the ball and finds the back of the net. That's a decent header. Why is Bijlo coming off his line? Goal for Manchester United. And with that, the referee brings this contest to an end. All square here in what was a thoroughly... That's so fucking stupid. All right, so next we have an EFL Cup game against Fulham. This is how we're going to start. We're going to start the B team. I don't think we're going to win this because they got Koch and Target. But, you know, anything could happen. Hopefully we can catch a win here. And it is going to be a win, a 2-0 win, with Ezra Ford actually going to be scoring this game and Harley Long. Let's go. Next, we have a game against Bournemouth. They got <laughs> Cristiano, as I like to call him, Philip Billing, and Chris Meffan playing left back. Weird. Um, see how this. Oh, Louis Cook. Oh, what? There we go. So let's go ahead and send this game. And it's going to be a 2 1 win. Pal Torres and Danny Elmo going to be scoring this game. Spanish duo. Good job. Next, we're going to have a game against Besiktas again. Hopefully, we can actually catch a win here. And it's going to be a home game, so we probably should. And it's going to be a 2-2 draw with the Turkish club. Man, we are really struggling in the Europa League. Next, we have a game against Leicester. They got Pats and Daka, Yossi Perez, Fabrico Samari, Benkovic. Their defense is looking black Leicester except for Lopes, the Portuguese goalkeeper. But I think we're actually going to win this game. It's going to be a 2-1 uh, win. Pats and Daka scores for them. By the way, Pat Sandaka just broke the record for the fastest Europa League hat trick. Uh, Danny Olmo and Edward scoring for us. Next, we have a game against Leeds United. They have Tete, Badia Schill, Misilaire, Jamie Shaw. I think we're going to win this game pretty easily. This is no way we draw this game. And it's going to be a win game uh, at W for us. Edward scoring a brace. Nico Slutterbeck coming on and getting a yellow car. Ouch. I would like to announce a new signing. We decided to sign Alberto Castro, a young sir, 17 and already seven, uh, 70 rated. So, good signing for us. Okay, so I just remembered that um, I'm actually trying to take this career mode a little bit faster because I just want to win the Champions League and finish off the series so we can move to the next team because a lot of squad updates have been coming out. Um, so you know what we're going to do? We're actually going to sim the rest of these three games. And then next episode is basically going to be for December because there's a lot of games here. And then our January episodes always, you know, our normal January episode. So y'all know the deal. First, we have a game against athletic co athletic club. We got nobody I know in the lineup except for Mkhitaryan and Villa de Ibre. Oh, and Arnie Meyer. Like, this player shouldn't be at the club, to be honest, because Athletic Club only signs French and Spanish players, or Basque region players, so 
And I wish they would do that in career mode, make it realistic. We get a 2-1 win over them. Ishmala Scar scoring a brace and Mikatarian scoring for them. Next, we have another sim game and it's going to be against Chelsea. And Their lineup looks very strong, but I still think we could possibly pull it out a win here. Let's hope. And it's going to be a 2-2 draw. I'll take that. Listen, if I can not drop points, technically it is dropping points because I can't get all three, but it's still one point against a top six side. And our final game of the episode is going to be a game against Southampton. Still got players out of position, but they got Morelos, Orsic, Gineppo, Rashica, Smallbone, Livermento, Jack Stevens, and the Brazilian keeper Matthias, James Ward-Prowse. I don't think he's ever going to leave that damn club, but... That's our lineup. Let's see if we can catch a win here. We probably will because they did get relegated and promoted. And it's going to be a 2-0 win with Edward scoring a brace. A lot of braces this episode. Alright guys, I would like to thank you for watching this episode of the Crystal Palace Grey Mode. Hopefully, I can edit this and upload it by tonight. Despite the immense amount of pain that's happening in my jaw. I'll figure it out guys, don't worry about me. Uh, we're going to be sitting at the top of the Premier League table. Which... Which is surprising, uh, with one loss and nine wins, four draws, and we're, we're kind of looking good. We got a 16 goal difference, that's only four goals ahead of Manchester United, you guys remember it happened last time, goal difference. Edward's top of the scorer's chart, let's go with 14 goals in 14 matches, he's basically had a goal for every single match, congrats. Uh, any of our boys on the top assist charts, and Alma with four assists in 14 games, it's hard to get assist. Uh, clean sheets, Bishlow only has 30 and 14, Bishlow needs to pick up the performance, hopefully he can uh, start growing a little bit more higher than 84, but I would like to thank you guys for watching, make sure to go follow me on Twitch and Twitter, by the way new content coming to the channel like uh, 1v1 show matches and Rocket League and other content uh, re regarding every game I play, like Siege, FIFA and all that, so drop a like, comment, whatever recommendations should. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Crystal Palace Crew Mode. See ya.